Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I have just finished attending a webinar by TCL Europe who have launched their new TVs for 2020 and I am on a Skype video call with Mr. Marek Majewski, who is the Director of Product Development at TCL Europe. Thanks Marek for taking the time to speak to us and our viewers. Hi Vincent, how are you? I see that you are uh, uh, breaking boundaries of virtual conferencing. <laughs> I try, I try, and I see that you know your hair is much tidier than mine. Well, I think uh, my daughter is helping me because right now I'm sitting in the room of my daughter, so just uh, she also just uh, made it because <laughs> then I would look so totally strange. Yes, yes. So we live in really strange times at the moment, but. TCL is continuing to launch new TVs for 2020, the show must go on. So can you please introduce to our viewers the new TV product range for 2020 from your company? Uh, we start uh, product introduction for um, QLED range. So the first uh, product uh, we will do for Europe, but also for UK is uh, C71 range. It is QLED uh, together with uh, Dolby Vision, uh, with uh, HDR10+. Uh, on the sound side, we go uh, with uh, Dolby Atmos, so to deliver 3D sound dome. Uh, then uh, on uh, experience side uh, for Europe, we go with Android. For UK, we go with Android together with Freeview Play with all the functionalities. Uh, also with uh, hands-free, uh, which uh, we believe is the next step into uh, the way that product can be used only with voice by just uh, saying, uh, hey, Google. Uh, and then uh, C81, the next uh, step for us. Uh, here uh, we add, uh, we improve uh, picture performance, uh, we improve motion. Uh, 6575 comes with uh, double refresh rate panels, so also called 100 hertz uh, native panels. Uh, then uh, we also increase brightness uh, to 400 nits uh, in uh, this product. We talk about uh, 1,200 euro uh, price point for 65, which is for us uh, still best value product. On the sound side, we add the uh, Onkyo sound system, which is two-way front firing together with uh, subwoofer on the back. Uh, and uh, the product uh, generally come, both product comes uh, in metal finishing, uh, metal design. Then the next step for us is uh, 65X10. Uh, the product we introduce uh, beginning of this year based on uh, mini LED uh, solution as a backlight. And then uh, X91 will come as our first uh, introduction of uh, 8K products. Uh, here we have uh, 8K, full implementation of HDMI 2.1 functionalities. Uh, also product uh, will come in the future with YouTube uh, 8K, so with access to 8K content. Then uh, it's uh, also full array local dimming uh, product. Uh, so we mix here full array local dimming uh, together with also software, more than 2000 software zones. Now, it's interesting that you talked about HDMI 2.1, and you mentioned that the X91 will support all the features. So from what I understand and from what I've seen from the presentation that you gave earlier, it will support eARC, it will support VR, it will support ALLM. Now, it will also support 8K at 60 Hz. Can you clarify whether your chipset is the full 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, or is it only 40 gigabits per second? Uh, the chipset uh, we use uh, for uh, 8K uh, is uh, 48 uh, gigabit, and then uh, we will uh, support uh, uh, all HDMI uh, uh, resolutions, and also uh, we will uh, support 8K 60p uh, HDR. So everything is uh, included uh, in uh, this uh, product. And then for all other uh, features like automatic low latency, like VRR, uh, this is uh, also already product is generally, we have it in Europe. We are in a final uh, stage of uh, testing uh, for all functionalities uh, we talk. Yes, and you mentioned that there are 2,000 or more than 2,000 of software dimming zones. What about hardware in terms of the local dimming zones? How many zones are there? The product uh, 75 inch will have 120 hardware zones uh, mixed together with this uh, 
2000, if I remember 48 uh, correctly, uh, zones uh, by putting all this together. Uh, we, uh, on the one side, uh, address uh, uh, black and uh, areas uh, by the hardware zones, but uh, what uh, we cannot address by the zone. So then uh, here we help with uh, uh, also software zones. Yes. And I note that in your spec sheet, you list the HDR peak brightness at 1000 nits, whereas on your mini LED, which is 65 inch, albeit only 4K, it was 1500 nits. Was there any reason for that? Uh, generally, uh, uh, the X10 product uh, you mentioned, so we uh, list 1,500 nits. However, even from your measurements, the product was reaching 1,800 uh, nits. Yes. And this is uh, uh, the result we see also from uh, other reviewers. Uh, on uh, pro 8K product, uh, first we look on 8K A specification because uh, product we will do will be fully compatible with uh, 8K Alliance specification. Uh, then uh, why uh, we go uh, from uh, 1,500 to uh, 1,000 in the specification? So uh, first of all, on the bright side, it will it will it is visible when you measure, but it's. Uh, almost uh, very difficult to see the difference uh, by your eye because the eye is uh, designed this way. Uh, then also translucency of the panel, 8K panel is much lower. So then we would further increase power consumption of the product, which I don't think uh, uh, if we look on uh, the new regulations uh, which are coming uh, beginning of next year, makes sense. So then uh, in the next step, we will further continue to improve uh, uh, panel translucency and then brightness uh, will be increased. So with the C71 and C81, are they intended for the UK market? How do they differ from other regions? Uh, C71 and uh, C81 will be introduced to UK. We start this introduction in May. Uh, products uh, by the name will have K at the end because uh, in UK we have different uh, cable uh, only and then uh, product as this uh, is exactly the same. There are no differences uh, in terms of hardware specification. Uh, when user will install a product uh, in UK, so will get uh, free view play uh, services. Uh, the difference, uh, even during my presentation, I showed that there are there is some difference in terms of home screen in Android TV because you get pre-installed all Freeview Play services uh, for, uh, coming from BBC as iPlayer, coming from ITV, uh, coming from Channel 4 and Channel 5. You have also very deep integration of uh, uh, EPG, back EPG, front EPG uh, with rich data, so with additional pictures and additional information, so not only DVB. And then you can uh, easily access uh, box sets, whatever uh, you want, uh, and then you get in standard free view play implementation. Uh, so then technically, uh, there was also, I think, a question if uh, X10 can uh, be done uh, for UK. Uh, and I said uh, software is the same. So then uh, if someone wants to buy X10, so then can also install in UK and will get all the functionalities like in C71 or C81. And this is our direction for all the products from now. So whatever we do with Android and we will do it in uh, Europe. Uh, so we uh, it will be available for UK. Okay, that's really reassuring because I think so far many customers in the UK have been expressing their frustration of not being able to access TCL products. So it is very so right now it's just uh, we synchronize the range. Uh, we uh, try to go uh, in the past with uh, Linux products and uh, basic products, but uh, we see that uh, uh, pan-European synchronization is the only way. Uh, so uh, as I said, products with K at the end uh, will be exactly the same products. Uh, and then right now you will get even more uh, or in UK because of uh, free view play. But software is in, it's the same software. Uh, there is no any clustering. In your presentation, you emphasized how TCL really believes in both Dolby Vision and also Android TV. Now let's discuss Dolby Vision. And I believe that the reason you may 
support Dolby Vision is because your main QLED competitor doesn't really support Dolby Vision. In your opinion, what are the advantages that is brought about by Dolby Vision? How does that help your company? Generally, on the one side, uh, we see that uh, C71, C81 will be the first uh, range of affordable products uh, uh, combining QLED, so 100% color volume together with Dolby Vision. If you look on the content side, so you see that HDR10 content uh, is capped uh, at 300 nits by some uh, streaming uh, providers, and they keep uh, the best performance for Dolby Vision. Uh, so this is one reason. And then uh, if you look how people today access can access HDR content, so uh, mainly they use Netflix for it. Uh, then they have access from uh, Dol uh, sorry from Disney Plus. Uh, and then of course Amazon is coming. So these are two, three major sources. Uh, local local ones are also growing, but generally whoever wants to have uh, Dolby Vision content uh, can easily access. Of course, some can go for Blu-rays, but Blu-ray is just very niche market, and then a very limited number of uh, people use it. Uh, so uh, for us, it's just the way to deliver uh, what the content can do the best, and then what we can reproduce also and uh, the best site uh, on the product without any software tricks uh, and then uh, uh, other attempts. Uh, what we get, we display, and this is uh, with this uh, Dolby Vision helps us. Of course, you continue to choose Android TV as your main smart TV platform. Are there any particular reasons for this? If we look by experience, so then uh, people uh, buy smart TVs because of the content and then they want to be sure that they will get all the content they need. Uh, then there are worldwide uh, streaming providers, but in each country we have also local streaming providers. Uh, we try to go with our own smart TV platform, uh, which uh, it was uh, Linux plus HTML5, but it was extremely challenging to build the ecosystem and then to reach uh, content agreements with all content providers. So uh, that's why uh, Android is solving this problem. Also, by selling Android TVs, uh, people who buy them, they are sure that uh, whatever content will come in the future, they will get it. So one example is Disney+. Plus. Uh, then also software updates. Uh, if you look on other platforms, uh, even uh, used by other leading brands, so they just uh, force you to buy new TV if you want to have new functionalities. In Android TV, if you buy the TV set with Android 9, you will get for sure two next versions. So uh, if you look on our past experience, we introduced Android 6, we provided Android 7, Android 8. Uh, this time we do nine, we will provide 10 end of this year. And then beginning, and I think in two years from now, we will do 12 for this product. So content, software version updates, also security updates, and also functionality updates. Obviously, what makes your company quite exciting is your mini LED technology. And at C, as both of us saw the TCL Vidron that was introduced there, but I think with all that's going on around the world, with the pandemic, with COVID, what is the progress of mini LED technology within your company? Uh, mini LED, uh, right now we have in Europe on the market as the first generation, we call it passive matrix uh, generation. Then uh, when we met at uh, CES, we introduced active matrix uh, mini LED on glass. Uh, this uh, solution we do together with CSOT, and this is uh, part of CSOT roadmap uh, to produce uh, backplane glass backplane uh, and match it together with 8K panels. Uh, in the first step, uh, we start from 75, then 85, uh, and then I think in the future, other sizes uh, will follow. Uh, Mark, from the uh, introduction to the market, uh, China will be the first market, uh, and uh, as uh, we don't see right now any uh, pandemic, uh, post-pandemic uh, issues uh, in China, China fully recovered, and then uh, this uh, technology we will continue to introduce uh, to other markets like uh, Europe and the US, but today I cannot give you, I cannot assure you that uh, we will introduce uh, Vidrain this year uh, in Europe. Just to be clear to our viewers, we are talking about the TCL Vidrin. 
yes, we talk about TCL V-Drain, which is a mini LED active matrix. So what we uh, introduced at uh, CS, uh, so uh, the solution with uh, 5,184 zones, uh, and then ability to reach 4,000 needs, uh, ability also to uh, do 100% color volume. So generally ideal product. On the one side, able to deliver true break, and then on the another side, able to uh, fully process uh, Dolby Vision content, uh, as this content comes uh, with uh, everything, all the details. Okay, thank you, Marek. Thanks for taking the time to speak to us and update us about TCL's roadmap for 2020. I wish you all the best for the rest of the year and also stay safe and healthy. Thank you, Vincent. Also stay safe. Uh, the same message uh, to your viewers. And then, well, it's an uh, amazing experience to have interview with you by sitting at home and uh, seeing you. But I think always there, there is first time. So hope also to see you soon uh, somewhere in person. Yes, hope that the first time wasn't too bad. Thank you. Thank you.